Our guest today is Asada Kirkland, creator of Soulful Chicago Book Fair and Soulful Chicago Book Fair Metaphors. Here at Betty Shabazz, we address our elders as Mama and Baba, so we will be referring to Miss Asada as Mama Asada. Hello, Mama Asada. Can you tell us about the Soulful Chicago Book Fair and explain what the metaverse is? What's up, kids? What's up? Uh, What's up? Young Beagle Rock. Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, I'm the founder of the Soulful Chicago Book Fair. That's where I take Black writers and bring them to the south side of Chicago. They sell their books and all kind of Black book lovers just come and get children's books, nonfiction books, and and nonfiction books. I said they're children's, all of that. So anyway, I decided when we had the lockdown and we were home, I was like, how can I do my book fair? So there was no way we can go outside. So I decided to put the book fair in the metaverse. And so the metaverse is a space. It's like you all say, assimilation of the real world in the computer. So we put the book fair inside the computer. So I can show you all a little bit about how that works, if you like. Okay, that would, that would be great. All right. Uh-oh, there we go. Okay, let's see what I'm doing here with y'all. Let me just give you a little wave. Say what's up. Hey, everybody. Hey. And if I want to say it like this, look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I could give you a little of that. So this is the space. You can see all of the different authors here. If you, I take a walk and turn around. Oh, let me turn myself around so I could walk normally because, oh, my God, I'll be walking backwards. So basically, now let's take a, a look. We can go into another room. And I'm in a school with you guys, so you might hear some children in the background, but that's cool. So we can walk and we have meetings here. Look at this. That's nice. Oh, oh yeah. Now y'all know young people know this sort of like by roadblock and things like that. But when you come in this room, look at that. Y'all are up oh, on the board. Yeah. 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 Uh oh, we got the kids up there. So we can even put you in the metaverse. See that? So that's like your intro. So I'm gonna come on out just so we can talk and if you want to ask me any other things go right ahead um so first what got so you kind of explained a little bit um about the metaverse and how you got into it but like how did you find out about the metaverse sure well when when we were um on lockdown i knew i had to get the book fair in a way that like people could experience it right so I knew I didn't want just like a Zoom. I knew I wanted something bigger than that. And um, when they do renderings for architecture, I wanted something like that, like 3D. So I called my brother. Then my brother had a friend who knew about this world. And I was able to call a place called Verbella, V-I-R-B-E-L-A. And man, we came and I was able to get the metaverse. And now we have networking events every Friday night. People can come in no matter what their businesses are and come in here and network. And we do a lot of different things here, poetry sets, all kinds of stuff. I think for young people, let's do some freestyle, you know, not right now, because I'm not ready, but y'all could do some freestyle, come up in the metaverse and uh, have like an event. Yeah. So uh, you say it's called Verbella, right? Your metaverse? Yep. It's Verbella is how you put it on computer, on your computer. You can't put it on a Chromebook. You can't put it on a phone. I'm not sure if it does a laptop, I mean, an iPad, but if you got a laptop or a desktop, definitely go to V-I-R-B-E-L-A.com. And it's going to have a button on there. Once you download it, it says try for free. And that's what you're going to do. Try for free. Go ahead, get it on your computer. And then you can come in the world. You can have locks, ball head, whatever you want. They got afros, everything. And fix your complexion and clothes and come and join us and vibe with us. What's Verbella mean? So Verbella, I'm not sure if that is a word like in a dictionary, but that's the name of the company that owns the actual metaverse that we are utilizing. And we can do different things. We can even have different environments. If I wanted to go to, let's say, the beach, I could go to the beach. I could go um, into different boardrooms. I can go dance. Let me see what kind of things I got. Y'all can ask me questions while I find these things, too. Uh, well... I did notice, like, we, me and Brandon, we were on the High Learning Network, uh, and we saw you at that uh, event. At yeah, at the event of the book fair. Oh, the so, book fair. Yeah, I wanted to know. 
So how do you guys like sell the books in the metaverse? Oh, how do we sell books? Man, I should show you that. Well, basically, if I go to, a person can go to go to like that. And then once they go downtown, it's going to say Soulful Chicago Book Fair. And that's how people get that. So I'm going to go to downtown right there. And then over here, it'll say Soulful Chicago Book Fair. I'm going to go there. And that takes me just now. I just went to the beach to create that vibe. But once you go to the book fair area here in the metaverse, all you got to do is tap one of the books and it's going to send you to buy that book. It'll, it's just that easy. Any book you see on the walls, okay. you could tap it and it's going to, you can just do it. Yeah. Yep. So see this like book? When I walk over here to my daughter's, yes, it'll take you straight to Amazon or wherever you could purchase that book. If I touch it, it might go, might not go straight there because I'm the one who orchestrated this. But if you see any book on the wall, you can tap it and it's going to take you directly to buy it. Yeah. So uh, about, about that book with your daughter uh, that we do have here. Um, and so what inspired your daughter to make this book? Well, you know, this is one of the things that I do. I inspire authors to get their books out. So why not with my own daughter? She was like seven years old and she, my daughter liked money. She still liked money, but she wanted to know how could she get like the rich people she saw in a certain neighborhood. And I was like, girl, we looked at, you got to do something that everybody could take a part in. And so write a book. So we, I taught her how to do photography she did some images in the book. I did the words, and then we just got the book out, Urban Girls Travel. Then we have others, Urban Girls Play, Urban Girls See City Art. Mama got to bring them out, though. They'll be out. But it's a whole series showing her in an urban environment. Y'all know what urban means? Uh, yeah, me, kind of like a, uh, a new setting, a new a, a city kind of say it, say it, say it, say it in a red with an afro. What'd you say, what'd you say? City kind of yep, city. yep, yep, yep. Uh, urban is a city, so urban girl adventures is like city girl adventures. We from the city, we from New York City. Chicago similar, but we wanted to show yo people do stuff different in the city. We take buses, trains, taxis, all kind of stuff. Other places they just had a problem there, but yeah, so urban girl adventures. We wanted to do that, and so she was able to make her own money. She has a thing on YouTube called Urban Girl Adventures. You can see like the video version of the book. And, you know, my thing is help authors get their ideas out. No matter how, what age you are, that's one of my gifts. I can help you get it out in a book. Okay, have, so it seems we like... Have a, a follow. Since, since, you were, um, since your daughter was seven years old, when she made her first book, how old were you when you made your first book? Al, how old was I? That's right. Hey, well, I'm 52 right now. I made my book in 2009, I believe. Yeah, 2009. So y'all got to do the math on that one. But basically, I know she was like five years old at the time. So yeah, I brought out that book. Um, whatever that is, whatever that, do that math. <laughs> if I'm 52 now, then you could just do that math if I brought it out in 2009. But I was a grown woman and I brought it out because somebody advised that I spanked my daughter and I was like, what? Like, I would never hit my daughter. I love her too much. Like, that's I'm, I'm a fan. And so when I saw that people believe that I that you should still spend kids, I decided to write a book to confront it so I could put adults in check boop, and stop hitting them kids. So that was the reason why I started that book. I'm a teacher, yeah. so I love the kids. I love young people. Well, boop, boop, boop. We have a caller. <laughs> so it seems that someone's calling you. Okay. We have a caller. Uh, 312-272-16428. Hello. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm calling in from Dubai, and I am also in a hospital. I'm a security guard. Uh, and, I have, and I called in, I have some questions for you. Okay, uh, so Masada, we have someone who has questions. What are your questions? What is your first question? So, do you have like a group for developing your meta? They said, Do you have a group for developing your meta? 
Um, basically, the metaverse already exists in that we don't have to create anything other than I've put the e-commerce portion of it so that people can buy the books of our authors. But other than that, I don't have a company per se that comes to build more in my metaverse because it has everything I need. So it's not like uh, I know people build metaverse environments, but this is not an environment that needs additional building from other companies, if that's what you mean. Um, Carla, do you have another question or is that it? Oh, I have um, two other questions. Okay. But I guess it will be one question. When did you start mm -hmm. and how did you start? When did, I start? Yes. when did I start what? The metaverse? Uh, the metaverse or her book writing? Her book writing. When did you start your book writing, you said? Oh, no doubt. So my book came out in 2009. Um, I had a stroke and I wrote it when my, when somebody said I should spank my daughter, it was during that time. And I was like, what, please, she little, she, what I look like hitting a little person, number one. But then number two, I saw that I needed to address it. So I was just coming out of the stroke. So that was like 2009, February, but I had my book ready by I think June or July of 2009, because I wanted it to be in the Harlem book fair. And so I did that to make sure that, um, that I don't know, I wasn't even thinking about myself as a writer. I just had something to say. So I put it in a book form and my book has sold all over the world. I didn't know that it would be that big, but I've been on CNN. I've been on Al Jazeera. I've been on ABC with the book. And so, yeah, just all you got to do is go to YouTube and put a side of Kirkland beating black kids. You'll see the stuff in there. But basically, that's when I started, 2009. We have another caller. They sound right. We have another caller. Mm -hmm. Hello, caller. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. 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 Adults, you got good adults sometimes. 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 Where did you like get the inspiration to make a better version? He, where did, he where did you get your inspiration? Where, where did you get your inspiration for making in the metaverse? Yeah, my inspiration was lack. We didn't have an opportunity to still do the book fair during the pandemic. So we were all locked down in the house. I couldn't go out and have my stuff. And I was like, I think I was relaxing. So I was glad. But then God was like, what you doing? When you going to get up and get to work? I was like, oh, dip. Okay. So I started I had to, I didn't know really about the metaverse, but I knew I wanted a 3D interaction. And so I found it. I, my brother's friend, um, Malik, found it for me. And then it's a rap, Malcolm is the name. And he helped me find Ver, Verbella. And when I met with them, this was what I wanted. And so now I've created a whole new opportunity for people around the world. We even have authors from different, different places. I got a big author from Japan. He was able to sell with us because we got the metaverse. So it's really given us a, a whole broad spectrum to cover the world instead of just Chicago. Well, it appears we uh, have ran out of time, but thank you for being our guest, Mama Sada. Love I'm you. Good. Thank you. Brandon. And you're watching the Betty Shabazz podcast training on the Higher Learning Network. See you, See you next time. Peace. Peace. Hi, I'm Brandon. Hi, I'm Akil. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Betty Shabazz podcast.